Hi and welcome to Oscolas Tutorial. I'm Jane and in this tutorial we'll be talking about privileges. The login account is for ASB Gmail. Now, um, privileges is a concept, the design concept in which there could be ext extensional capabilities. Now, the, what I mean by extensional capabilities is that is the concept of delegation in which somebody who has a particular account and um, it has by 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 default the person can actually actually have access to perform a certain particular type a particular set of functions and the person can delegate that activity to another person so that the person can actually post carry out that activity. That is what we come well, that's what we, we design into the privilege of the privileges functionality. Now what is how, how this thing is done is this the person like let's for example uh, the creation of timetable is the tax of the vice principal, but the vice principal can delegate this duty by giving another person the privilege to be able to create a table. Now, in this case, as a virtual has about five active privileges, and this is a particular icon that shows the privileges. Now, when you click on this particular icon, this number five actually indicates the number of privileges that are active. There are other privileges that she has been given, but they have been withdrawn or revoked from her. Now, if you look at this, we have about the first, first five items here. Yeah, are privileges on creating and editing of timetable. This one creating and editing of timetable, viewing of timetable listing. Now, and it was created for 2014-2015 third term, and it was created by a somebody, which is, which happens to be the vice principal of the school. Now, there are other privileges that shall be she 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 was given before, and those privileges have been deactivated, and henceforth she can no longer use those privileges to any of those functions. Now and what current was um, based on the current settings, she has this privilege to be active. And when she click on this um, particular privilege or link, she has the capability. She will be present with the interface in which she can carry out, out the actual activity of creating and editing of timetables. Now, when you have she is presented with this, she clicked on that part one of the items on the timetable and then of um, one of the items of the privilege will happen to be the timetable and it's presented her this interface. You see this interface now, she can now create timetable, she can now set up a timetable for a particular class. Uh -huh. Now this particular class by the idea that was picked is what is a 2014-2015 third term SS 2A. Now she can actually select and continue to create it. So I have SS 2B, SS 2D, SS 3D, SS 3D, then as the case may be, then she can save it and also she can do the already created ones. Um, because probably because the privilege is a full access privilege to all timetables concerning 2014-2015 third term. Now we have them um, like SS2D currently has um, some uh, some timetable that have already been created. So it's created by HTML, so who happens to be the rightful person that should actually do this thing. But due to the fact that she wanted to delegate the duty to her, that's why she has the capability to do it through this uh, privilege concept. Now. And now this listing can also be viewed in tabular form to actually a nice um, representation of how the data will how the data looks like. Now it states that in on Monday between the, for the first period we are going to be 8 a.m. to 8:40. Uh, English will be what in, um, English language is a course that this particular class says two days going to take just like that and we we'll have that. Then um, going back to the privilege. Uh, uh, privilege um, listing. We have that on this privilege. We have the active privilege. Can view based on the active privilege or non-active privilege. And also, the privilege can be deactivated at any point in time by the person that created it or the principal. Because the principal can actually create can actually deactivate any privilege as we are giving out across the whole application. Now, we have them. Um, Pagination also this in the sense that you can actually select multiple uh, pages to actually view from and the most privileges comes in a group like these five privileges are a group of privileges as in denoting the full capability of what working on time table for that particular time uh, for that particular time okay thank you very much for checking out our tutorial look forward to seeing you next tutorial and uh, we encourage you to make sure that your school is signed up on most scholars goodbye